In this video tutorial we will demonstrate how to create and maintain your church financial records. Let's get started by clicking the financial button. Now, enter the current date then click enter. This opens your church financial module. Here we will review how to create your balance sheet and income versus expense reports by first creating your financial chart of accounts. Click the chart of accounts button. In this module we will enter data for church assets, your church liabilities, church equities, church income, and your church expenses. Begin by selecting a subcategory. For instance, real estate or other subcategory for the placeholder category of assets. Select another placeholder and select subcategories that apply to your financial situation. These placeholders and subcategories appear in the window to the left waiting your data entry. Clicking on the checklist button at the top will open a log file. This file is here for a quick review of your data entry. This log places your data in the right order under the proper group. To quickly enter your financial data, select the placeholder then select the subcategory. Next, enter a short description to identify the asset. Add an amount. Now let's check the report. Continue adding your financial records as it applies to your current financial situation. To edit any stored record, click the button to the right. When you have finished entering data, we can review our main reports. Click the balance sheet button. The total at the bottom of this report reflect your total assets, minus your total liabilities, plus your total equities plus your total income, minus your total expenses, and produce a net value. Clicking on the income slash expense button will open a simple income versus expense report. The totals at the bottom of the page reflect the differences between income and expense. At the moment, this module does not automatically bring over church ledger information, this quick access button allows you to view ledger information.
If you have miscellaneous assets, they show in this single report. This concludes this tutorial on your church financial reports.